Hey guys, it's Jamie from Deer Bunny Farm. And I'm Paige and we're in my kitchen. Today we are gonna make aloe and clover bath salts. But not the kind that'll make you eat your neighbor's face off. Yeah. All right guys, this is like the easiest thing in the world to do. Okay. We have Epsom salt. And we have a blend of shea and cocoa butter. Just takes a very small amount of the butters mixed in with the salt. We mix it around to evenly distribute. Now this, um, you can use in your bathtub, like just take a scoop out and put it under the faucet and um, soak like a Epsom salt bath. It's really good for circulation, um, really healthy for your skin and um, makes your bath water smell really nice. Or you can use it as a hand scrub. So just like grab a clump um, and rub it on. I mean, really you can do that any part of your body. Um, the shea and the cocoa will moisturize while you do that, as well as like amazing exfoliation from the salt. Um, I normally try to keep a jar of this at my kitchen sink and do that pretty much every time I wash my hands. It's awesome. Okay. That is our base recipe, super simple, does not need a preservative, doesn't need anything else. I have no idea what, uh, what my actual percentages of the ingredients are because I wing it every single time um, and do it till I like it. So we're gonna add in our aloe and clover fragrance. This only takes a little bit, doesn't need much, it's not like in in soap, some of the fragrance like heats out of it through saponification. This is not like that. So you want to stay really close to 1% of your recipe as fragrance. Um, some people, you can even do like lower, but I like it to scent my bath water enough um, that I feel like I'm at a spa. So I normally use around 1%. As you can tell, I didn't even bother measuring it because I can tell from how it smells. Oh, and it smells so good. Okay, and then all we do after that is scoop it into jars. Seal them up and we're done. Thank you so much for watching. Um, check out our Facebook, our Instagram, and our website at Deer Bunny Farm. Uh, most of the things that we make on our channel are available for sale there. And if you'd like to, like and subscribe.